Se on pajobu, suur pajobu. Ja. Se on uus ristmik plan, ka, ka projektplan. Se on 15 meter kaitse suun ümber buu. Ja paldiski mante Keila ja paldiski mante Tallinn. Se on jalgati walking road. And uh, here they have planned the uh, red light here. And they have planned red lights here. And uh, uh, this plan is possible to do exactly how it is today. Just on this uh, ground where the tree is growing to put, uh, take away the grass, put geotextile. Mm -hmm. And then 15 centimeter buffer with sand. And then new geotextile and um, gravel, gelostick mm -hmm. on top, and asphalt. And then this plan can be made identic how it is today. We just lift the road 90 centimeters up oh. around the tree. And then in this protection zone is no need to dig with the excavator, just with the hand shovel to take the grass away. Mm -hmm. And then the tree can stay. Oh. Because there are no cables, there are no water pipes going there is no walking road crossing exactly the tree and also no car road crossing exactly the tree so oh. the reason to cut the tree is non-existing but why they wanted to is because of the ground no they have uh, cut many trees without reason they cut them also for the reason to plant the new trees mm. and they have cut the 25 30 meter tall trees in the front of this uh, 1500 people living mm. behind the tree here in these blocks and uh, they cut uh, those trees for the reason to plant the new trees. The new trees will uh, not grow <laughs> up in 50 years. No, before they protect the uh, same what the forest does today. Mm. Here is uh, 15, 20 meter tall trees on the drawing, including the tall trees in the center of the rhythmic. And these tall trees in the center of the rhythmic, they are going to be saved. So this was given to the local residents and the local people thought, okay, everything is okay. But in reality, you see, where are the big trees on this drawing? They are laying there, piled up and, uh, and uh, cut. So all this vegetation in the front of the Loma, 123 trees were cut illegally. And here, 137 trees were cut. And here, uh, 37 trees were cut illegally. So it is cut illegally over 250 trees. And they have cut so many trees that they cannot build the rest of the road in that direction because they don't have permission to cut that many trees. Mm -hmm. So they are cutting more trees than they have permission. And they are cutting trees which is not necessary. And that is an environmental disaster. I mean, the wind direction is always coming from the sea. And it will take all the exhaust, all the traffic noise and all the dust directly to the sleeping windows of, of 1,500 people. Mm. And here are nine blocks where they have cut trees in the front and there are 2,400 people living and currently now without protection to the, to the blocks. And uh, what, is, um, what is interesting is that uh, this is the plan they made, the illustration drawing. Mm -hmm. And you see here is our large trees. But all these large trees are gone. So they have tricked the local population. This is the drawing which was publicly given as a presentation and illustration to have the acceptance from the uh, local people under the planning process. But uh, so they didn't tell anything about no, cutting them off? Or? No, here are 15 meter tall trees, 20 meter tall trees on the drawing. And all these trees are gone. 411 trees are gone on this side of the road. And uh, here, are, here is our big tree, exactly. And there is no tree on the drawing. It's the only tree which is not on the drawing. Mm. And they have also put the big trees which are in the circle road and they will be saved. They are also on the drawing. So when they have been so specific that they could put the trees 
which are in the circle road existing today, mm -hmm. standing on the drawing still, then we would interpret the drawing that this tree should also stay. Yes. And they are cut. So on the technical drawing, which no one has access to under the planning process except the city planners, uh, the drawings which are not being communicated to the public, mm -hmm. they have put the new trees to be planted in replacement of the old tall uh, protective vegetation. And then we have something more grave. Here is 123 trees cut in this park. Mm -hmm. The half of the park is gone between the uh, Polisk Mount 145, which is here, and the 3x Maxima, which is here. It is connecting the zoo park as well, right? Yes, and uh, here inside zoo is living animals mm -hmm. uh, all the year, mm -hmm. outside in the nature. And these trees are the only protection between the big road system and the trees, the um, animals living in the Loma. And they haven't even considered the protection of the environment for animals. Humidity, clean air, <coughs> reduced noise and uh, reduced uh, visual pollution to the Loma. Mm. They haven't considered at all in their planning work. Wow. And then they are building this uh, walking road under here. <coughs> and last year they changed the uh, Hitate with the money from the Maxima 3x building uh, mm. process. So Maxima paid to renew uh, a long distance of this Ehita uh, train to the next uh, road cross. And then they removed all the sand under this Ehita train to the sand from uh, with the bigger uh, granulation. Mm -hmm. They took sand from the many Kukarier and put under. So it means that this new road is a drainage canal. And now they want to cut this drainage canal uh, with the walking road uh, under the main mm -hmm. road. It means that all the water around this loma is an underground lake, just a half meter under the grass surface. Yeah. It's a very, very high groundwater level. But now they want to cut that uh, drainage canal and all the water along the loma will go under this road and end up in the walking road. Whoa. And there they make a drainage. So they will lower the water, groundwater level three and a half meters. Three and a half meters. Yes, and that mm -hmm. has also not been considered in the planning work at all. Mm -hmm. And if they lower the water level around the loma with three and a half meters, the groundwater level, mm -hmm. then there is a four and a half thousand trees. They will not have water because their roots are adapted to high groundwater level. They are not adapted to groundwater level dropping three and a half meters. So it is possible to solve with engineering mm -hmm. this problem with the walking road. Oh. It's very easy to solve it, but they haven't solved it. They haven't even considered it. Mm -hmm. And this is so poor engineering work. And it's a grave, uh, um, it's a grave mistake in the planning. And the Ihito Sloba should not be given unless the water, groundwater issue is solved. And the, issue with the existing vegetation is solved. Hmm. It's an important part of this environmental yes. change. And there are laws in Estonia, uh, according to Estonian law, protecting the environment and the nature. And the uh, Keskona Ministerium on the state level and the Keskona Amet on the Tallinn Linausa level, mm -hmm. uh, Tallinn government level, uh, they are, on behalf of the population, responsible to protect the nature mm. the groundwater the trees environment city environment green environment but they have in this case failed to use their authority to make this project become sustainable mm. so what we see here is a european union fund money used to ruin the environment and the living living place in the tallinn city they are cutting over 1,000 trees and they have permission to cut only 785. And uh, even if they have permission to cut 785 trees, they don't need to use that permission necessarily. Mm. They can find the wise uh, engineering and save 95% of all the trees which have been planned to cut. But they plan to cut all them down. Yes, and more. Again. They have already more. cut uh, almost the whole quote they have, but they have all only been progressing with one third of their uh, mm. 
building preparations. So they are extending far over the limit of what they have permission to cut. That's interesting. <laughs> yes, and the trees have not been marked. The tree should be marked with a number in the landscape, every single tree. And then should be marked on the map, similar, every single tree. And all the trees should be on all the maps which are given to the entrepreneurs. And then it should be made a plan for each single tree. Will it be moved? Will it be cut? Or will it stay? And is it possible to reroute the water plant, uh, pipes, electric uh, cables, walking roads and car roads in order to save the environment and save the trees? And if yes, then the roads, walking roads, cables and water pipes should be moved in order to save the environment according to the regulations and according to stone and law. And this is the responsibility of the Keskona Omet in this case, since it is a local planning uh, work from the Tallinn city government. Mm. So the Keskona Omet have been totally absent in their uh, work and they have not used the authority to change the project into a sustainable and environmental friendly project. So now it's time to stop the project for a short time. It's gonna go for one and a half year anyway, so they have enough time. So to stop the project for uh, some weeks, re-evaluate their plan, move some walking roads, save some trees, move some cables and, and water pipes, move some roads a little bit, and uh, rescue the project. Otherwise, it will be an environmental total disaster, failure. Mm. Local, it's a local disaster to cut the protective vegetation for two and a half thousand people. Mm. It's absolutely absurd. It is. <laughs> and you can't plant the new trees and expect to protect the blocks in a 30, 40, 50 years from now, those new planted trees will protect. Mm. But as it is planned today, it's a disaster. And even the local residents here they have lost about a 2 million euro in real estate value and the total project is a 19 million euro. So it's already 10% uh, of the project value is just lost on the, on the hands of the uh, block owners and they haven't signed any papers to give permission to, to cut the protective forest mm. and there is planned no compensation in the project budget for the local house owners when the real estate value will drop because of uh, cutting of the trees and removing the recreation areas, the green areas. Mm. And they have moved the whole rhythmic uh, two to three hundred meters closer to the blocks. And on the opposite side, they have big asphalt area. Mm. They could just remove one gasoline station and remove one parking place from the car auto and they could, rather than moving the rhythmic closer to the blocks, mm -hmm. cutting trees and destroying environment and recreation area, they could move the rhythmic closer to the car mm -hmm. and to the Stottoil Gosling station. And uh, here we have Stottoil Gosling station, yeah. which is Q something now. And here, here we have the uh, BMW and the... Um, Yes, car center, and here we have a car route. And there is not a problem at all to extend this bridge over the parking place of the car route and uh, this uh, car uh, shop. Why we have blocks where people are living in 16 floors and they can't even make a road in two floors? It's, it's ridiculous. So they should have moved the whole rhythmic in this direction on top of the existing asphalt. They should have made this bridge on top of the parking place in front of the Rockholmare Center, on top of the uh, Gosling Station, Stottel Gosling Station, on top of the parking place of this uh, car uh, shop and the car auto, and made more nature towards the Veikoisma and Loma, mm. rather than removing the nature. So this is possible today with the computer programs. It would take some days for the city planners but it's possible to drag and drop the whole drawing on the map. So it wouldn't take them a big uh, uh, deal of work to just drag and drop the whole rhythmic, lift the bridge over the parking places. 
and then the whole plan would uh, be uh, done corally and there would be not a single tree cut. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a few five or seven trees maximum would be need to cut when you drag and drop the whole rhythmic closer to the shopping centers. Why to destroy environment for two and a half thousand people when there are enough asphalt and beton on the other mm. side of the rhythmic? Mm. They could just move the whole rhythmic to the beton and asphalt. Yeah, and, and then there would be no problem at all. Mm -hmm. So this is totally ignorance to the local citizens, ignorance to the mm -hmm. nature. And we, we are so close to Lomaid, which is a national park. I mean, this is absolutely crazy mm -hmm. what they are doing. <laughs> and there is so <laughs> simple ways to solve this thing. It's so easy to, to make an alternative, much, mm. much better plan. Maybe we can do it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I know the city planners in the, in the Tallinn government, they are intelligent. But mm. this project has been moved to a private contractor to bypass all the regulations and traditions and laws in Tallinn about how to consider the environment. So, so instead of letting the intelligent city planners who knows the town very well and are living in the town, are citizens of the town, instead of letting them do the planning work, the public city planners, mm -hmm. they have moved Harbour Stirismic to a private contractor car project. And the same they did in the Pirita Kodriorg uh, road uh, project. Mm. They moved to a private contractor and with a disaster as a result and now it ends in the court and the whole project has been stopped. Mm. And the Harbour Stirismic <laughs> and the Wilde Thea, mm -hmm. this Wilde Thea project, mm -hmm. <laughs> It, it was planned in the same time with Harbour Stirismic, mm. but financed in the same time and the same car project planning it and the same uh, the same communal Ahmet being the client mm -hmm. plan, uh, paying for the road work and being responsible for the construction work so it's the same corrupt and ignorant uh, planning process and decision process in the both projects mm -hmm. and if this uh, Wilde Tee would not have been stopped it would happen the same disaster in the Kadriorg park as it now happened in the park in front of the Loma. Yes. So we have a live proof of what the activists uh, have told mm -hmm. would be a disastrous result of the planned Wilde Tee project. We can just see the results in the Harbour Tee project. Yeah, we could learn from this previous exactly. cases and exactly. do something better. Mm -hmm. So my point is not to stop the construction work, not to stop the Tallinn from having new and better roads, but we could do it more wise, more intelligent, and we can have a more beautiful city and better environment for animals and humans to live, and more plants and more nature. It's very easy, just need intelligent planning, that's all. Mm.